determine the force in members GF, FB, and BC of the sink truss and state if the members are in tension or compression. To begin, as usual, we need to determine our first of all reactions at the pin connection A and roller D. And looking at this structure, we know there isn't any horizontal force acting on it, therefore, our AX is going to be zero. And now to determine our external vertical reaction forces, we only need to determine for one side. And since we're going to need GF, FB, and BC, we can we know that we're gonna have to cut this truss like so. And this means it would be in our best interest if we use left hand side of this truss to solve for this problem. Alright, to begin. Let's take a moment about the point D in order to find our EY, because that's the only external reaction force we need to find to solve this problem. So we're going to have moment at D. So we're going to have our first external reaction force of 800 pound, and it's going to be counterclockwise, therefore positive. And to find our distance from D, we first need to determine our length of member ED and then use that length to determine our member I'm gonna say E alpha. Okay to do that as we're gonna have to have cos 30 degrees times 10 feet and then to find our E alpha to D length it's gonna be another times with the cost 30. If you're confused about it, how I got this, you can text me or write in the comments. Then we're going to move on to our external reaction force of 600 pounds. So we're just simply going to be counterclockwise and it's 15 feet away because we have equil equilateral triangle at BCF. Then we have our last external reaction force, 300 pounds. And for this reaction force, we have to use the similar formula, but this time we have to subtract from 30 feet that length of E alpha. And finally, we have clockwise EY 30 feet away. All equals to zero. So, and for EY, we get a solution as 1100 pounds. And since it's positive, this means we assume our vector reaction to be correct. Okay, now let's draw the free body diagram for our left hand side. So it's going to be joint A. At A, we have AY, 1100 pounds. Then we have a member till G, where we have external reaction force of 800 pounds. Then we have unknown force between member GF. Then we continue the bottom till point B. Then we have a connection between G and B. And at B, we have unknown force fraction. FB and another one for BC and the angle between them is 60 degrees okay just now we can take a moment about the point A because it's easier than taking a moment at our imaginary point F so we're gonna have clockwise 800 pounds it's gonna be cos 30 degrees times cos 30 degrees times by 10 feet that's how far it is from me vertically and then you can have horizontal and vertical component of force FD which is simply going to be sine 60 degrees times force FD and 10 feet away and we're not going to have horizontal component because it's right at same level as E and if it's counterclockwise, all equals to zero. Uh, for force FT, we get our solution at 692.82 pounds. And it's in positive direction, therefore we assume the direction in the right direction. This means this member is in tension. Now we can sum the forces in X and Y direction to find a force for member GF and BC. I'm gonna start with vertical direction. We're gonna have AY, which is 1100 pounds plus vertical component of force FD. Then we have vertical component of force GF. And we missed 
one external reaction force here, which is 800 pounds at G, all equals to zero. And now when we solve for GF, we get our solution as 1800 pounds, and it's in negative. This means we assumed our vector in the wrong direction. Switching our vector sign would get us positive solution, and this also tells us that our member is in compression. Now we can sum the forces in x direction to find our solution for force BC. So we can have negative force BC and then horizontal component of both GF and FD all equals to zero. So for force BC, we get our solution as negative 12, 12.44 pounds. But this solution is in negative, this means our vector direction is wrong. Switching it over, we get our solution, it's in positive, and this tells us that this member is in tension. And with that,